Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Emma and I make brand new videos every single Thursday and in exactly one week I will be in the car driving to Florida because I'm going to live there for a year. I'm going to be participating in the cultural representative program and representing Canada in Epcot. Because of that though, I'm actually filming this at like 1230 and I need to upload this video at 2. So we're gonna just power through this video because I've been packing like crazy and spending time with family and just kind of doing like one last big hurrah with everyone too and I've had no time to sit down and film something so today I thought well we're gonna do it last minute because that's how I did all of my university coursework so you know last minute I succeeded in that procrastination pays off. Today I couldn't figure out what I wanted to talk about and then I realized I've been watching a lot of Disney YouTube lately. I've been watching vlogs and just people who talk about Disney on YouTube for fun. So I thought hey I might as well share my favorite channels with you guys because not only is that a very quick video for me to film, when I started watching YouTube and trying to find these channels it was very difficult and tough and I couldn't figure out like channels that I really liked or how to search up proper channels because you'd search for something, you'd find a video and it'd be like, oh my God, this video is incredible. And then it's the only video on the channel. And you're like, oh, they like gave up. It was like uploaded two years ago and then they never uploaded again. So I thought I would share some of my favorites. So my top 15 favorite YouTube channels that are Disney related or Disney program related. And then up here, I'm gonna put like maybe a scroll through of their channel or a picture of a thumbnail, something that shows you what their channel looks like so you know what I'm talking about. Also, everything's gonna be linked down below so that you can see their videos in full because seriously, these people are amazing at creating content. They keep me entertained and excited for Disney. Even before I knew I got the program, I was watching these channels just so that I could keep my spirits up and keep myself like excited to keep going and want to apply again if I didn't get it. So the first five channels I'm gonna talk about are all CRP related. This means everyone on these channels have participated in the cultural representative program and they either vlogged it, they do advice videos, something along those lines. And these are just my favorite ones that I found. So the first one that I'm gonna talk about is Ellie Brown. Ellie just finished her uh, program. She was there from 2018 to 2019 and she has the cutest, most amazing content. She's so sweet, she's so funny. She just seems so genuine on camera. She's super sweet, super funny. All her friends that she made in Florida were fun too, like when they're on camera, especially Gabby, when she pops in, she's hilarious. Uh, she met her boyfriend while on the program, Daniel, and they have a couple vlogs together, which are really cute. And I think she's super underrated. I mean, yes, she has 800 subscribers and she gets like hundreds of views on her videos, but I feel like she deserves a lot more than that because she literally makes some of my favorite content of the program. She just uploaded her final week in the life video, which was her final week in Florida during her program. But at the end of that video, she said she's got tons of footage that she's going to continue to try and upload. So if you are someone who likes an active YouTube channel, definitely go check her out too. You can always watch the playlists too of all her past videos because she's been there for a year, so she's got a year's worth. The second channel is Baby Beazle or Lizzie Smith. Now she hasn't been on the program for a really long time. She was there I think from 2016 to 2017 or something along those lines and she has done that part of her life. She's passed that. She's talked about it multiple times. She's done her program and she's moved on. But her vlogs from that program are incredible. So if you want to see a storytelling side of vlogs, like they're very artistically done. It's like she sits down and does a narrative and then clips in all the vlog stuff and she calls it her adventure book. It is incredible and it actually is the first vlog series that I found about the program. I thoroughly enjoy it. I would just recommend you not message her and ask for tips on different things because she has said multiple times she's over talking about the CRP. She went back and worked with the Disney store and has recently stopped working with the Disney company because she wants to be a guest again. She no longer wants to be a cast member because she's experienced all that magic and wants to go back to being a guest. The third channel is Heather Marie and she is Canadian. I should say the first two channels I've mentioned, they have been British 
girls who have gone and done the program but Heather is a Canadian participating in the program she's about to finish her second program like I think it's within the next few months she's done or next few weeks she's over and done her first program she did not vlog very much this program I feel like she's uploaded quite a few more vlogs and just like out with friends and even with her mom sometimes so that's a lot of fun she did a really cute vlogmas video where she surprises her mom with a cruise for Christmas which I thought was super sweet so definitely check that one out but her main thing that she does really really well is give advice her advice videos on the program even she went to a Disney audition once and just like the amount of detail that she put into that video and what she was sharing in that video I was like I'm never gonna audition for Disney but it's cool to know that this is what the process is like the fourth channel is adventures with Lucy Lucy is so fun and so sweet I was hoping to link up with her for Florida and we're keeping our fingers crossed that somehow Disney puts us together but unfortunately we got our Disney housing email and we weren't able to link up with anyone so we just all ranked our choices the exact same. Lucy has done I think one cultural exchange program which is just the three to four month summer one and now that she's moving to Florida the exact same day that I am. She's definitely going to be posting a lot more CRP related videos, so I definitely included her in this portion. Her vlogs that she has up right now are really fun and entertaining. She also has some advice ones too, which are awesome. And because I kind of know her and I've been talking to her for a few months, I feel like it's safe to say that the person that I've talked to and the person that I kind of know is definitely the person that's on camera too and that just makes the content she creates even more interesting and more fun. And the final channel that I'm going to talk about that is CRP related is Ellie Stedman. She has finished her program but she vlogged it and I feel like she just recently uploaded her final video from that because I think her program was 2017 to 2018. I think that was her time. And now she's currently working for the Disney Cruise Line, so she has a couple vlogs of that on there as well. Her vlogs were like weeks at a time or like a whole month, so she'd be like, Disney CRP April, and it's just really cool to see what she got up to that whole month of April. She is a huge Belle fan, a huge fan of Disney, and you can tell just by how much she lights up in the parks. It's a really, really great series, her CRP series, and I think it really does shed some light on what it's like to play in the parks, but also work a lot. So the next five channels I'm going to talk about are related to the CP, ICP, or CEP, which is basically the college program, the international college program, and the cultural exchange program. The first channel that I'm going to talk about related to the CP, ICP, and CEP is Emily's Wonderland. She is so Fun. I love her videos. She's funny. She's quirky. She does fun Disney things and she's very honest, which I love. She has done two CEPs, so she's worked a total of like six months for the Disney company, but the vlogs that she produced while she was there are so much fun and I enjoy watching them. And then she has really fun like story time videos and really fun advice videos that are really informative but also like entertaining to watch. She recently uploaded one that was like here's what you should eat while you're in the Disney parks and I think that's so valuable especially from a cast member's perspective. She's no longer working with the company and is now in London instead so she vlogs her London life like she's just traveling and creating really quality content. Yeah I would definitely recommend her channel because even though she's not in Disney she makes a few Disney related videos now and then which are amazing and sometimes they're really just silly ones like cook with me and they try she tries to recreate Disney recipes and it's just funny because she struggles and that's just comedy. The next channel is Girl in Wonderland which is Alice who is Emily's sister from the last channel. She is currently on a three month program and she started working about a week or two ago so she has a couple of vlogs up already like flying down there and moving in so I'm sure another one's coming soon. I think her most recent one was them going to Universal. She creates really fun content as well and she seems to be having a really fun time so far in Disney so I'm excited to see if she vlogged any of those fun times too. The next channel is Emily Enchanted and she is a college program participant so she was part of the CP but after her program ended she went seasonal I think or part-time either seasonal or part-time and she moved to Florida officially, has an apartment, and goes to school in Florida now while working at Disney part-time. But she does vlogs and everything, and they're so fun. She's so sweet. 
she is definitely one of the more well-known CP vloggers in the Disney YouTube arena. She is also a character performer so she has a, quite a few tips about that and like insights on that if you want advice on that kind of stuff too which is really awesome and she makes incredible lookbooks. So if you're someone who is like, oh, I want to like look cute in Disney and I want to know what to do, she has incredible, incredible lookbooks and I love them so much. I think that that's really interesting to see is people now taking other YouTube videos, like types of YouTube videos and bringing them into the Disney parks. I think it's really cool to see like people be creative like that. Next up is like the OG Disney CP vlogger, Miss Shelby. She has done, I feel like, a million college programs. I think she did like one and then extended it super long and then did a summer one and now she just went back for one and now she's officially done her CP and she as well, like Emily Enchanted, just moved to Florida and started working part time at the parks, which is so cool. She hasn't vlogged as much this program and I think it's because her other programs she vlogged a lot and I think she just wanted kind of a break but she is starting to post more videos now and they're super funny her and her friends they're like a band of characters it's just insane and so fun her original CP content is so good too I love watching her just like walk around my favorite videos are when happily ever after came into the parks and wishes left and she was so salty about it because I was mad about it too so it's just very funny because it's very relatable. She has a lot of story time videos, lots of advice videos as well, and her reaction video of her finding out that she is going to participate in the college program is just the cutest thing ever. Plus her intros are always banging. Then the final CP vlogger that I'm going to talk about is Sarah Beth Marlowe. She is the sweetest, like, I can't describe her any other way other than just like the sweetest person. She did the CP and she extended, but spoiler for her series, she then termed out of it because she realized she really was missing home. She actually did complete a whole entire CP and just wanted to go home. But her content is incredible. Her vlogs are hilarious. The way she says hello everyone at the beginning of her vlogs is just adorable and it's like oh I'm smiling and happy this is a good video it's just yeah it is quality content if you don't feel like watching from the very very beginning if you're not that kind of person you just kind of want to dip your toe in and see I would definitely start with the Hurricane Irma vlogs they're so funny her and her friends went and stayed at Art of Animation I'm pretty sure during Hurricane Irma and it's just the funniest stuff. They're absolutely delusional because they're scared that they're gonna die from this hurricane and the parks are closed which never happens so they were just like hilarious. It's just a really really funny vlog series. One of her most popular videos as well is her room tour video of her apartment. I think it was Patterson Court she lived in. I don't know. It was a Disney housing tour and it's really detailed. The decor they did was so good and her and her roommates were genuine friends and are all friends and like she got engaged after she moved home and now all her friends from the CP are her bridesmaids and I think one of them's her maid of honor. It's just the sweetest, most wholesome thing ever and I love it so much. It is definitely my favorite CP channel. Then my final five channels are just Disney related channels. That's what they are. They are just dedicated to talking about Disney, Disney parks, Disneyland, Disney World, all of it. And I just enjoy them so I thought I would share them. The first one is the DFB guide or the Disney food blog guide. This is a YouTube channel that is affiliated obviously with Disney food blog. Uh, they basically tell you everything you could ever need to know about Disney food and help you choose the dining plan that you want to do, help you choose which hotel you're going you're gonna to want to stay at. It's just they've made a career out of being Disney foodies, which is just so cool to me. Their YouTube channel, however, is dedicated to talking about the most recent snacks that have come out in the parks, five things you shouldn't do when you go to the parks, five things you wouldn't expect to do at the parks, and then also like they have fun videos that are like 10 things Disney did that everybody hated but now loves right that kind of thing and the woman who does the voiceover in these videos AJ her voice is so soothing I absolutely love it also you can hear her smile in her voice when she's talking so like she could just be talking about like 
a cookie and you can just be like she's smiling this is nice they also do news updates so you know what's going on in the parks what's been announced for the parks all that kind of stuff which is super informative and helpful even if you're just going on vacation and you're not looking to do a program this channel is definitely definitely one to subscribe to next up is disney kitty the woman who runs this channel is named becca and she is so sweet i keep i feel like i'm calling everyone sweet but she is so adorable and so cute she is obsessed with pins and her husband and her dog and her cat and it's just it's really really cute and she does pin unboxings which i love she does subscription box unboxings what else does she do she does a sh small shop haul every few months because she supports small shops ear hauls oh my goodness i'm trying to think she does vlogs too i'm actually i have one paused right now in may she did the six parks in one day challenge she did all four parks at walt disney world and then flew to california and then did the two parks at disneyland i'm telling you she loves disney she has a huge pin collection she does magic mail on mondays and just goes through her p.o box and people send her the most loving letters and the most amazing like pins and fantasy pins and ears and shirts and just like treats because they love her content so much that they're just like expressing their love and gratitude through chocolate. I discovered her when I went down the rabbit hole of Disney YouTube where people were unboxing mystery pins and she has quite a few of those videos. <laughs> now she tends to do uh, pin unboxings with her husband who doesn't know what any Disney characters are called so it's really funny she makes him try and guess what the character is on the pin but like I just said her recent videos are her vlogs of her doing the six parks in one day challenge so that's interesting she kind of does it all and it's really freaking cool so I definitely recommend her next up is the Miss Alley Cakes she is super sweet she's super fun she's a teacher and she recently had a kid so a lot of her content is kid based at the moment but she's a huge Disney fan and I also found her during my pin unboxing like craze when I was just wanting to watch people unbox pins because I couldn't afford them and I wasn't getting any of them. She also does a ton of crafting videos. She recently did one where she tried to make a whole bunch of like Disney foods using Disney food makers so like Mickey Mouse gummies, that Olaf snow cone maker, all that kind of stuff. It is amazing fun content that she creates and I am so so proud of her growth because she has so many followers and so many subscribers and it's just so cool to see. Next up is the channel that I have been subscribed to for the longest 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 time and that is Fresh Baked Disney. This is also the only channel that is Disneyland related. So Fresh Baked Disney started oh my gosh I don't know how many years ago but I've been subscribed for at least five or six. So that should tell you something. Basically, it's a band of characters once again. They're all so fun, so amazing, such dorks. I love it. And they go to Disneyland every single weekend. Now they're not because of Galaxy's Edge, but they had been going every single weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, and David would have his camera and he would record basically the whole day that they were doing fun stuff. They'd walk around the park, they'd walk around merch, stores they'd walk around just the queues they'd walk around I don't know downtown Disney and find some fun things to do and then they would chop it up and post a video every single day of the week of that vlog so it's like part one to seven it's just been amazing to see them grow as well because when I originally subscribed to them they were doing like Patreon, I'm sure they still do, but they have like they were like relying on Patreon a lot more. They were trying so so hard to grow more and be recognized within the Disneyland or just regular Disney YouTube community and it's just so cool to see that growth because they went from like covering the Star Wars uh like the Galaxy's Edge construction by standing on top of the parking garages at Disneyland every week there'd be an update they would zoom all the way in and be like okay so they've built this now and this new things up and this and that and it's just they went from that to being invited to the press event. And that was so cool to see, like, to watch. They live streamed it as they walked through. To be invited to the press event of something that you've been covering since the ground broke on it is just 
so cool. Especially when you started out with just some dude in a camcorder kind of thing. Like, it's just really awesome to see that growth. And I'm really proud of them and I love them so, so much. It's a great channel. You should definitely check it out. And then fittingly, because Fresh Baked is my oldest subscription and longest subscription, my final channel I'm going to be talking about is my most recent subscription. Look at that. Didn't even plan that. This next channel is Beth Lung, and I found her through Disney Kitty, who I mentioned like three channels ago. She does a ton of pin unboxings. She does vlogs. She also has done a really amazing lookbook that's just Disney bounding Toy Story 4 characters, which I absolutely loved. It was well done. She explained the outfits. It wasn't just a lookbook of like music and posing. She explained like, this is why I put this part in there. This is why I did that. And I really enjoyed that. Her aesthetic is light pale pink and rose gold and turquoise. So you know I'm a fan of that. And I knew I was gonna like her and wanna subscribe to her when she popped up in one of Disney Kitty's videos and she was in a white t-shirt, a gorgeous pink pleated skirt and her rose gold ears and she just looked like a dream. And I was like, okay, this aesthetic is pleasing to me so let me go check out her channel. And then the whole channel was like that too. So I was like, okay, you sold me. And then I watched one of her videos and I was like, okay, I'm in and I hit that subscribe button so fast. So there we go. There was a super quick look at all my favorite Disney YouTubers. I wish I had filmed this earlier. I wish I didn't leave it till last minute because now it's probably like one and I have to edit this down in an hour. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, that was today's video. The next video that I will be posting is my kind of farewell one to Canada and like all my family and everything because next week is the final video that I will be posting that uh, is not Disney, like me in Disney World, which is insane. <laughs> Cause for the next year after next week, it's gonna be Disney vlog, Disney vlog, Disney vlog, uh, Disney related sit down video, Disney vlog, Disney vlog, Disney vlog, Disney related something. <laughs> it's just gonna be me in Disney World and I hope you're ready for that. If you have any Disney YouTubers you think I would like based on my huge list I just shared, let me know. Put them down in the comments. Let me know. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Bye.